Hey, what an welcome back to some more civilization 5. So, the Mongols are sanctioned now, which will hopefully shut down their economy at least a little bit. And it's a shame Austria is about to finish Empire Stead building, because I could actually build that in a few turns. But alas, they will get it in two turns, so a little bit too late, I'm afraid. Anyway, there are still a few good wonders coming up. So I might try to get one or two. We still got a great engineer stationed in Lisbon. You can't actually see him because there are a lot of great people in here. Mostly admirals and a general, but there is an engineer. So, let's see what's going on. Open door, historical landmarks, oh yeah, Ward's Fair. We probably want that to pass. Uh, let's vote for both. I don't actually want historical landmarks. Okay, this should be fine. And we'll have to switch all our production to Ward's Fair. It will probably finish in like one or two turns. That wouldn't surprise me too much. So, highest gold. What's the highest gold trade route available right now? Still only 17. Yeah, that's not as much as I would have liked, to be honest. And maybe we should send a trade route from Porto. That will be safer than Lisbon, so let's just do that. Plus some population, nice. Harbor is about to finish. Who is he at war with? Just with Austria right now. Okay. Hopefully Austria can beat him up a little bit. I'm hoping they will beat up each other. Because that's what we need. We need them to weaken each other. Without either of them gaining a decisive advantage. We'll see about that. And we got biology, nice. So next up, plastics. To unlock the research lab. And the words were passed. Historical landmarks also passed. 17 votes from Ram. And open door in Bucharest. Okay, well, let's switch every city towards fair. It will probably finish in like three turns total. Because we are pretty late into the game. Which means there's a lot of production out there. So, yep, words fair on every single city. Okay, then. I could also switch them to production focus for a turn. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Just to make sure we'll get our reward. I wouldn't want to miss out on it. As for the archaeologists, yeah, we can send him here. Five turns. Can we get open borders from the Mongols? Oh yeah, right. We can't do any trade with them at all. Not even for open borders. Well, hey, we can send an archaeologist here. I don't think he will declare war on us right now. He might, but he's at war with Austria, so I assume he will be busy with that. Anyway, trade route. That will be... Bogota, 15. Well, that's fine. Also, 24 science and 20 culture. That's good enough. So... Let's see how much production we'll get. Open borders. Uh, I did buy open borders from some saves to spread our influence a little bit better. We can get open borders from him as well. I almost forgot he actually exists in this game. He's not exactly relevant. So. Oh, he wants our vote. Uh, that's probably fine. Against World Religion. We don't want World Religion to pass. And we'll get some gold. Works for me. Carry on then. 63% complete in one turn. So, yeah. I'm not actually sure if we'll get silver. Because AI will likely complete it. Right now, during the AI turn. Which means it will be at 100 before our turn starts. Well, at least we got bronze. We'll see. I'll keep it on production for one more turn. Maybe we can get silver. I would like to get silver. Let's find out. But chances are AI will complete it right now. 
during their turn. We need our turn to start. It will definitely be complete right now. Come on. And there we go. We did get silver, nice. Okay, that's going to help. Ram won the gold. Yeah, that's not unexpected, I suppose. And we got a great artist, nice one. Let's pop him right away. That's going to be a great work, we still need those. And we can grab a policy. We can grab two policies, actually. One for free and one because we had the culture. So, rights of men, plus on food in cities for every two non-specialist citizens, plus two production and plus on gold from villages. Or, as an alternative, we could get enlightenment and free thought right now. Uh, that's probably better, actually. We'll get a tech for free. And then plus 25% yields when we expand great scientists. Well, actually, we won't be expanding a great scientist anytime soon. Uh, let's get rights of man and enlightenment. And that sounds reasonable. So, there it is. And enlightenment. And there it is. We need one more to finish rationalism. And then we can fight by some great scientists. That will happen in 10 turns. And we can pick up a tech for free. It might actually be worth picking up plastics. I should have changed research, but you know, it's actually worth picking up plastics. Yeah, that's around 6,000 science. And the rifling would only be worth 2,300 or so. Yeah, definitely plastics. There we go. And the next up, rifling. Yep. Rifling, dynamite, and then we'll see. And then probably corporations. So now we need research labs. As soon as possible. I don't really want to spend the gold for that, because we'll need gold for unit upgrades. But yeah, let's switch most cities to research labs. After the archaeologist. And maybe after the castle, uh, after the bank, and after musicians guild. Here, I guess that will do. I might rush some of them, we'll see about that. What tech do we need to upgrade Iron Clans? That would be... Oh yeah, rocketry. Right. That's nowhere close, I'm afraid. Okay, then. Just looking at the tree. And planning our research. But they want horses? And no, not really. I'm not interested. We should actually reveal oil. Because I need to know whether we have oil or not. That will affect at least some of our decisions. But at the same time, we definitely need corporations as well. I'm thinking corporations first and then combustion. That seems reasonable. Which monopolies do we have? Uh, let me see. Global monopolies only. What do we have? We only have coffee. What can we get with coffee? Let me see. Corporations. So, what can we get with coffee? Let's see. Monopoly required. Where's coffee? No, not in here. Oh, yeah. 2K foods. So, food, basically. City growth. Well, that's not terrible. I would have preferred something else, but that's not a bad one. Right, trade route again. Venice? No culture from Venice. Yeah, 12 gold, 22 science, 20 culture, that's a good one. 
Off you go. And Rami is actually sending some units, not quite sure where. Is he at war with anyone? Oh, Rami is at war with Austria. Yeah, okay. So I assume he's sending them to Austria. Grüß Gott. Austria still has a defensive pact with Venice. Well, not to mention we have the creation of friendship with Austria. I really hope they can make a dent in Austria. We'll see. Fingers crossed. And the Mongols adopted order. So far, two thieves adopted order then. I'm curious what Ram is going to pick up. Yeah, Austria adopted order. So, it's quite likely I'll go for order, but we'll see. Mostly because I don't want massive ideology pressure. However, it will depend on what Venice, Babylon, Indonesia... Well, yeah, it will depend on what all the others will pick up. If they all pick up, let's say, freedom or whatever, I might consider that. We'll see. So, another archaeologist. We can send him this way. Yeah, there's a hidden antiquity site over there, and it's not inside Ram's territory. Not to mention there's also a site here. So, let's go this way. And we got one more archaeologist coming up. Is Venice at war with anyone? Yeah, with Indonesia. That's not exactly relevant. But good for them. 5,000. It might seem like a lot, but trust me, it's not. The cruiser upgrade is pretty expensive. The cost is based on the hammer difference. So 900 versus 375. It's going to be expensive. We don't have that many frigates, but it's enough to make it cost a few thousand. What's happening? Oh, I thought the grain froze for a moment. Don't crash on me! Okay, that was a little bit weird. My screen went black twice. Quite a few city states are changing hands. Anyway, there's rifling. And another archaeologist. Are there any more hidden sites we know about? Well, not close to us, I'm afraid. Let's just go this way, I suppose. Sure, we can get both. Off you go, then. And cargo ship. Not sure if I want to trade with Austria. What's the best trade route we got to Ram? Well, this one, but I can't seem to actually send that one. Oh yeah, here we are. So, dig that up. We still don't have a temple in Lisbon, but we got more important things to do. We could build an ugly business or two. Definitely worth getting that in Lisbon. But first, we need the research lab. What's the tech count like? Babylon wants the creation of friendship. He has 50 techs. We got 51. He's actually doing pretty well. I thought he's way behind. But no, it's only Hiwata who's way behind. Maybe we should accept this. It might be worth considering, actually. I think I'm going to accept that. Yeah, sure, let's do it. That gives us another sieve we can get flat gold from, if nothing else. And yep, Ram build Firaxide. Well then, uh, that's science if I'm not mistaken. That is definitely science. How many tags does he have? 51, Austria has 54, we got 51, okay, and Venice also has 51, so we got 3 sieves with 51, and then only Austria has more than that, with 54. Okay, we can send this trade route, let's go then. 
Six turns for dynamite and that will unlock the cruiser. A coffee to ram ended. Let's sell that then. Do our cities want any of these resources? Silver, truffles, jade. No, they do not. Okay, never mind then. Let's get gold in that case. We'll need gold. Uh, that's going to be 211. Here you go, enjoy. Oh, also, we got an archaeologist here. Is that guy on the way somewhere or what? Yeah, he is, right. So, is Austria winning or losing? She's actually losing, that's good. Mind you, I don't want the Mongols to get too strong, but at the same time, I want somebody to beat up Austria. It would be best if someone captured at least one of their cities, but they are all heavily fortified. Most of them anyway. 97 combat strength in Innsbruck. Okay. The Mongols are plotting against the Ram. Sure, we can share that. That's definitely a good thing. Well, not entirely, because I would prefer if the Mongols focused on Austria. But oh well. They might still declare war on us. That's certainly a possibility. Uh, how many frigates do we have right now? Might be less than I thought. Only two frigates. Right, because we lost quite a few during the war. I thought I had more than that, but apparently not. I might just remove that ironclad from the queue. Yep, and let's just upgrade. We got the gold. No need to waste production time. This guy. Okay, sounds good. Can we get more production in here? We probably can. Let's take a look. 82 hammers. Can we do better than that? Yes, we can. Yeah, that will be fine. 17 turns for the research lab. Maybe we should rush it. Porto is our second biggest city. So you know what? I'm going to rush it in Porto at least. Shattered seeds spreads to Lisbon already. That was quick. I think that's Austria's actually, if I'm not mistaken. And they got turn 300. Oh look, another great admirals. <laughs> because clearly we need more great admirals. I mean, they are useful, don't get me wrong. Holy crap, that's a lot of great admirals. We got six great admirals. I never had that many great admirals in any of my Thieves games ever. That's pretty crazy. And that's after I already expanded like two or three of them. So that will be like nine in this game. That's actually kind of insane. Well, anyway. Three turns to finish dynamite. And then corporations. Yup. Where are you going with that prophet? Well, there's not much he can do here. Well, actually he sort of can. I don't have an inquisitor everywhere. Maybe we should buy inquisitors right now. Because I don't know where he's actually going. I don't like him too much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to buy an Inquisitor in here and in Melbourne, I suppose. We got the Fate, so it's fine. What's going on? 978 Tourism with Austria. Oh, okay. Cargo ship. I'm sure we can do better than this. Should be better trade routes from Melbourne. So, how's Austria doing? Minus 14 war score with Mongolia and minus 11 with Ram. So, they are losing, but I need them to lose harder. 
that's going to be an artifact. Yep. And let's grab that. Oh, we found a natural wonder, okay. Sure, why not? Foreign grade diplomat. In Colombo, we don't care about that. Our income is still not amazing, but it will have to do. <laughs> Which is why I'm not going on spending sprees. <laughs> we need to save our gold for actually important things. Uh, do we have silver or amber? I think we have silver or do we? No, we don't actually. We do have amber, one copy. But I don't really care about that, our happiness is fine. Let's vote against war religion, I don't want that passing. For obvious reasons. Hiwata might be upset, but I don't care. He shouldn't have proposed it. So that's a bit better, but not a whole lot of gold. This one is good, to Vienna. 40 culture, that's actually kind of crazy. Here you go, and that one. Another great artist coming up. When is the declaration of friendship going to expire? Oh, it'll take a while. Uh, actually, no, in five turns. So we could maybe declare war on Austria. I'm not entirely convinced it's a good idea, but it's unlikely we'll get a better opportunity. They are losing a war against Botram and the Mongols. The only issue is that our navy is not that impressive and I can't get more ironclads because I don't have more coal. I can't buy coal from Ram either, so that's not happening. Still, it's something to consider in a few turns. Here's another great work. And, well, I suppose we could still build the railroad, but we don't really need it. No, we don't. And it will be a bit of a waste of money. I mostly wanted railroad here because these cities were under attack several times. Venice adopted order. Yeah, I think we'll have to go for order. I mean, if mostly everyone picks up order, then we don't really have much of a choice. Unless you want to lose like 50 happiness or more. Which we most certainly do not. Work has begun on research lab. In which city? Uh, in Braga, I think. Okay then. Up to 15. Uh, do we want to switch back to food? Well, no, because that will make the research lab take a really long time. I might switch back to food once some of these research labs are done, but definitely not right now. We could switch Porto to food. Okay, sure. It will still finish in two turns. Yeah, keep it on food. It's still growing. At a reasonable pace, even set to food. Austria. See, we probably shouldn't be sending traders to Austria if we are going to declare war on them. But some of these other traders are kind of bad. I need to think about this. I don't know. And thing is, they have a defensive pact with Venice, which means we will also be at war with Venice. Just something to consider. Unless it somehow expires, but I wouldn't exactly count on that. Oh, now Austria got a corporation. I thought they already had one. I thought that was Trader Seeds, but apparently not. Yeah, they still have a defensive pact. Oh well. I'm not exactly worried about Venice, but Venice is doing fine. They got 52 tags. They are relevant. So, two research labs on the next turn. That will bump our science output quite a bit. 
House tourism. Yeah, 300. How's their influence? We need to stop this. Ram has quite a lot, but it's not going to be enough in the long run. I can tell you as much. Modern era, good for him. Oh yeah, and we should upgrade the frigates. They want to give us waves. Yeah, sure, why not? Thanks. We don't exactly need that, but whatever. Always more golden age points for excess happiness. Are we there yet? So, let's upgrade. Yeah, that's over 2000 for two units. So, like I said, it's expensive. Now that the research lab is done, we should probably focus more on military. As much as I would like to get all these buildings, we need to work on our military some more. So in this case, we need more cruisers. I could probably remove the merchants. I do still need the gold, but I also want production. Well, let's see how much we can get. Almost 200. Okay, that's not too bad. 193. This will hold the city growth, but that's probably fine at this point. We are at 26. 26 is not too bad. We can't get even more. Can we get it down to four turns? Maybe. Yes, we can. Okay, so a cruiser in four turns. At the cost of removing the scientists. But that's probably okay. Our science output is fine. Okay, the next one will be five turns. And five turns after that. It's still worth it. Okay, well, let's do it like this then. Unless we want to remove the civil servant. We are not anywhere close to a great diplomat, are we? Well, 19 turns. But I'm not even sure if we can get any more embassies. That seems unlikely this late into the game. Yeah, artifact, obviously. Yeah, you know what? We don't need a great diplomat at this point. Let's just remove that. It's still not going to push them down to four turns. 217. I think that's the most we can get. Seems like it. Okay, that will do. We can always redo some assignments after we finish the first cruiser. To get more yields, but keep them all at five turns each. Now, it would be nice to unlock destroyers as soon as possible. Okay, Ram wants to go to war with the Mongols. Interesting. We should probably ask for ten turns to prepare. I don't really want to do it right now. I'm not entirely ready yet. He's actually winning against Austria. It's quite unlikely he will actually take cities from Austria. This is a really tough call. Not sure what I want to do with this. 50 techs on the Mongols. Well, let's say we'll do it in 10 turns. I'm not entirely ready right now. I don't want to do it right now. Okay, give us 10 turns to prepare. Hopefully he will actually come to help, because I don't want to be on my own. They are all plotting against each other. I'm not exactly surprised, but there it is. And now we can fight by probably at least two great scientists. 
I think it'll be exactly two great scientists. I'll just have to wait a few turns between the purchases. Right? Uh, yeah, five turns. And we'll actually need slightly more faith. 3200. So, two great scientists. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Sucks that we don't have more coal. But that's not exactly news in my games. <laughs> As you are probably well aware if you watched my past games. We're lucky that we have any coal at all. If we had none whatsoever, I wouldn't even be able to upgrade units to ironclads and then to destroyers. At least now I can do it. Uh, oh, there's a proposal to remove the sanctions. Well, obviously, we don't want that to pass. Let's get the gold. Okay. So, we got 10 turns to prepare. We can get two more cruisers in that time. Let's pop the scientist. First, let's queue something up. So, rocketry. Yeah, that will take a little bit too long, maybe. Still, that should be the next tech. Let's get combustion first, because we'll obviously need that. Yeah, we need to know whether we have oil or not. If we don't, then it might be a good idea to get some fighters and bombers. Okay, sounds good. And we can pop him. So that will finish corporations. And we might want to build our corporation. However, I'm a little bit busy building the cruisers. So, I don't know. Maybe after the first two cruisers? It will take eight turns. Okay, after the second cruiser, because we will already be at war then. Or at least... Uh, oh, hold on, there's also Crystal Redentor. Now, we could actually get that done. I don't know. We can get 868, so a bit less than half. Which means we would need probably six turns to finish it. I really don't want Austria to get that one. That would be really bad if Austria got it. I think we should try, even at the cost of delaying the cruisers. Oh, and we have to pick our ideology. Looks like Ram actually adopted freedom. So, if we really wanted to, we could go for freedom, but order is the safe choice. The only issue is that if we go for order, then we'll get a large negative with Ram. But if I go for freedom, I will get a massive ideology pressure. I don't exactly want that. And honestly, order is probably better for us right now. Yeah, freedom is not bad, especially when going tall. But order would be quite nice. Hero of the people would be pretty nice. With all the bonuses we have to great person generation. And there are some really good level 2 tenants. They would both be good, but... I'm a bit worried about ideology pressure. This is actually a tough choice. Because assuming we want to go to war with Austria in the future, and we obviously want to be friendly with the Mongols, and we will probably end up at war with Venice, then Ram will most likely be our only friend left. So, from that perspective, it would make sense to pick up freedom. I'll have to think about it. But that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.